Hola amigos, welcome to Eating with Andy. I'm Andy and today we're making one of my favorite recipes, a Nikkei tuna ceviche. Ceviche is a cured fish dish and it's Peru's national dish. This is my Nikkei version. What is Nikkei, you may ask? Nikkei is a cuisine on its own. It's a cross-pollination between Peruvian and Japanese ingredients. There's a lot of Japanese influence in Peruvian cuisine, believe it or not. So this is basically a Japanese style ceviche and it's absolutely beautiful, simple and quick to make. Hope you enjoy it. The first tip I'm gonna show you is how to prevent your chopping board from slipping. We're gonna be doing a lot of chopping, so that can be very dangerous. Such an easy tip, you basically grab a wet paper towel and we're gonna place that on the bottom and our chopping board on the top. Look at that, no slipping. The first thing we're gonna do is our leche de tigre, which literally means tiger's milk. It's the marinade we use to cure all our ceviches. It's supposed to make you feel like a tiger. It's invigorating, refreshing, spicy, beautiful. We're gonna measure two tablespoons of soy sauce. We're gonna add two teaspoons of sesame oil. That's gonna add a beautiful nuttiness to the tiger's milk. One crushed glove of garlic. Now I'm gonna show you a simple trick for peeling some ginger, because we're gonna be using some ginger in this tiger's milk. You just use the edge of a spoon and just peel the outer layer. One teaspoon of ginger goes into the tiger's milk. Just microplane it in. What is Japanese cuisine without a bit of ginger? Now we're gonna add two bird's eye chilies. We need this leche de tigre to be spicy, but you know, you can always adjust the spiciness levels to your palate, to your taste buds. I personally like my leche de tigre to be quite spicy and to have that kick. But obviously you can adjust according to your taste buds. If you don't like spice, don't add any chili. If you like it super spicy, add a few extra little chilies. I think the perfect spiciness level for me is two bird's eye chilies. So that's what I'm gonna be adding. Done. Now we're gonna add some lime juice. I always like to roll the limes with my hand to release the juices. I find this little method makes the lime become a bit juicier. The key with the limes is not to over squeeze. You don't want to get the white bits or else it will be bitter. You have to use your hands for the limes and squeeze around two thirds of the way. So I've added the juice of four limes into my leche de tigre. Now we're gonna add two teaspoons of ground yellow chili paste. Yellow chili is mild, it has a beautiful tangy and floral aroma, and it's gonna give this tiger's milk a very unique flavor. So we're adding two teaspoons of yellow chili paste And now we're just gonna give it a little mix. And our tiger's milk is ready. How fast and easy was that? I'm just gonna pop this in a fridge so the flavors get to develop a bit more while we finish our dish. Now it's chopping the onions. I've simply sliced half a red onion 
I'm gonna pop it into icy cold water. That's going to remove that bitterness that red onion usually has, and it's going to maintain it crunchy. I'm just gonna leave it there for around five to 10 minutes. So now we're gonna be working on the garnishes. The first garnish is some coriander. And this is a little tip on how to chop herbs in general. It works so well, so we're gonna grab a few coriander leaves. And the best thing to do with herbs is to roll them in a little bundle. Roll them like that very tightly into kind of like a little bundle. And that's when we're gonna start chopping. Grab a knife and start chopping away. And voila. Now we're gonna chop some chives. Align the chives with your knife and just chop away. Now we're gonna slice some avocado. This is the easiest way to get some nice avocado slices. You just peel the avocado skin we're just gonna be using a quarter of an avocado in this dish and it adds a creaminess. It goes so well with the soy, the lime, the ginger. It's absolutely the perfect, perfect garnish. So we've got a quarter of the avocado here and I just like to fan it out like this and that's gonna look beautiful in the dish. Now we're gonna work on cutting the tuna. Just flipping over my chopping board. So I'm using a nice clean side. And I've got here this beautiful piece of sashimi grade tuna. It's so important that you get a good quality piece of seafood for ceviche. This is sashimi grade. So just ask your fishmonger for sashimi grade tuna. We're gonna cut into one to two centimeter cubes. And you don't have to use tuna. You can use any fresh, firm, white fish like red snapper or sea bass. But I feel like in this specific dish, tuna works beautifully. Now we've got our beautiful piece of fresh tuna diced up. We've got everything done. The last thing we need to do is just assemble the dish. As soon as the acid from the limes hits the tuna, it will begin to cure. You don't want to over cure it. You want that fish to still have some bite. I like to cure mine for around five minutes. See how the color has changed to opaque? That means that fish is cooking in the acid. This is a dish you have to eat immediately. Make sure you grab a spoon so you can get all that beautiful tiger's milk. So that's it guys, so quick and easy, such a fresh and delicious recipe. I hope you give it a go at home. Please hit the subscribe button if you like this video. I've got so many more recipes that I wanna share. Ciao.